you, man, I know, you know, with all this influence you got, bro, like, tell me how this sneaker game kind of got popped off, man, because you don't really just see, you know what I'm saying, a young, a young one, a young and young bull jump out, oh, jump off the porch with them sneakers, man, like, or, or them oh, shoes, bro. you know, everybody want to wear the J's, you know what I'm saying, but now you got the, you got the shoes jumping off, man, tell me how that whole thing came about, the design, the, the manufacturing, like, tell me about it, man, give me some insight on that. Bro, with that, like, again... My nigga D, bro, Devlin motherfucking Braswell, cuz, side collective. That nigga, he, you feel me? He seen what I was doing. He seen the shit that I was going through, and it's literally the same shit that he dealt when he, when he first started. But I feel like he seen I was serious about it, you feel me? So he really plugged it in for me, like, and I don't even think he do that for niggas for real. Like, me, as long as I've been knowing this nigga... I don't think he do that for niggas, bro. Like, just really plug niggas in with his plug. Mm -hmm. I don't think he do it, bro. But he did it for me, bro. And it's like, it's something that that really motivated me, bro. Like, he, he put me in a good position, bro. Like, he put me in a position where I could literally make millions of dollars. I just got to do the work. That's it. Put the work in. Gotta he put, put me in front in. of who I need to be in front of, bro. And it's like, I just got to do the work now. So tell me how that first sketch was, because I know that what we see now is probably not the first sketch. So tell me how that first <laughs> initial, because it never, it's never like that. You know, it's never like that. Like you start the first, you like this one's dope, but then they somebody else see it like ah, I don't know. So tell me how that first one go versus what the final product. Tell me how that. Tell me how that process went. Bro, long ten months, bro. Wow. The process took ten months, bro. Like, but. That's not the shoe that the shoes that's out now, not even the first shoe that I was supposed to put out. Like I was supposed to put out a different version, some whole other shit. But the factory I was dealing with, again, like, bro, like niggas gotta automatically think they're gonna take a loss. Like, bro, the factory I was dealing with played me, bro. Like, played me out of some real some some a nice lump sum of money, bro. Like, didn't send my shit, like, bro, like on some other shit, cause I sent them the cheese. They didn't do my shit right. Like, they they, they basically played me out my money. You feel me? Mm. And it's like, man, that shit, like, like, put me, like, damn, stressed out. Like, fuck. Yeah. Like, damn. Can I trust to keep sending niggas thousands of dollars? You feel me? Yeah. To keep making my shit? But, yeah. you feel me? I, the, the, who I go through now, they legit, bro. They, they brought my vision to life. Like, it took a couple samples or whatnot, but we have finally got the shit right. Like, we got the shit rocking for real. That's what's up, man. So, are you are you playing with like crazy different textures, or is just one kind of like leather type deal right now? Like, what kind of textures are you playing with? Honestly, right now it's like really leathers, pat leathers, and suede. But okay. eventually, once the ball really start rolling how I want to, I'm gonna start fucking with crocodile, fucking python, fucking uh, stingray, all that shit. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start doing all type of shit, mesh, like everything. Man, that's what's up. So, man, I know you were talking about. I've heard these horror stories because, like you said, I'm pretty sure you're working with um with these manufacturers probably overseas or something like that. So, break it down. How's that? How's that whole um that process with trying to find a vendor overseas and talking to these people and trying to get the money to them and praying that it come come back to you. Talk about that process. Talk because people think it's just piece and cream, and sometimes they see a price tag and they don't know what what it takes to get it to get your product. I'm going to say this, like, I have to say this. And I literally, like, people witnessed it, like, I stay up to, like, 3, 4 in the morning just to talk to people in China, you feel me? Like, I made these sacrifices for months, bro, spending thousands of dollars on samples for months to keep getting bullshit, 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 you feel me? My clothes, I finally found the right vendor. Boom. All right, cool. That's locked in. The shoe shit, oh my god, bro, the biggest fucking headache. Oh. Until I'm I'm going through hella shit with the shoe shit. Boom, I can't find nobody who's really reliable. So my boy plugged me in. You feel me with with, with his shit? Boom. So all right, now I got the shoes. I got the shoes cover. I got the clothes cover. But bro, when I say the biggest headache, and it's a lot of people who ask me like, bro, who your vendor for your clothes? Who your vendor for your shoes? Whoop de whoop. Me personally, I don't feel comfortable just giving that out like that. You feel me? Like Why not? shoot shit up because like the the shit that I went through to get to this point. You feel me? 
I'm not, I, I don't think it's fair. It's not fair if you ask me. Like, to just, oh, I went through all this shit. My fucking, every, while, while niggas was sleeping, I'm up waiting to fucking talk to niggas and shit. Got to take my kids to school at 6 in the morning. You feel me? 7 in the morning, whatever. And, and I'm up 3, 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning talking to people in China. Pakistan, you feel me? You gotta share that I'm knowledge, not, though, man. You gotta share that knowledge, though, mother, man. Nigga gotta pay me, man. <laughs> you I gotta need share that dollars. knowledge, man. That's it's how we all fair. gonna get on, man. You gotta share that knowledge, man. But, you don't want to, because if you think about me, so think about it, if it was a person like me, I would probably want if I was, I want to cut you off just saying, like, hey, man, I want to kind of jump in this shoe game or I want to do something like that, man. I want to, I don't want to go spend fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars in the air when I know my man's already got it. I want, you know. That's how we gotta collaborate and work together, man. I know, I know you feel feel a little bit probably jaded by it because you, you know, you put so much time. You feel like I mean, I put so much time and effort, and for you to just start off just to come ask me and I just give it to you, and you don't take that air. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what I mean? and I, I, I kind of feel what you're saying. Like, man, I put in all this work, man, but look, and for you just you to start that. off like this. The shoe shit, though, I, I literally, I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I can't even. That has nothing to do with me. Niggas got to talk to my man about that, and he's not about to just get that game to get people. that plug out. That's that's just out. The shoe shit is out. The clothes shit, I might a couple of niggas. I ain't gonna lie, a couple of niggas that that I really fuck with, I get that plug to. You feel me on the clothes shit? Mm-hmm. But it'd be people, bro, that don't know me, that ain't that ain't even bought a pair, a, a shirt or nothing. You feel me? Yeah. That it just asked me, bro. I feel like that's like a slap in the face. Like you ain't yeah. trying to support my brand or nothing. You just gonna ask me. For information trying, that could literally yeah. make you thousands to millions of dollars, bro. Like literally, it could. You. It could happen. When you put like, it like that, nah, I feel bro. you. I like feel that's you on that's that. that's that's like some chump shit to me. Like I'm not I'm not gonna play with a nigga like that. That's how I look at it. I wouldn't even like nigga at least buy a nigga a pair of socks. A you want to see him put something. a little bit of effort in? Put a little bit of effort in. Show me some support before I bro, just give you the plug. Give you the keys saying, to the city. Bro. Niggas niggas won't won't. All, I'm telling you, cause everybody wants the success, bro. Nobody want to put the work in, bro. Working. Everybody want to take the easy way out. Like, nah, it ain't gonna always work like that, bro. Like, fuck no. There's no shortcuts Hell to no. the top. There's no shortcuts to the top. And again, like I said, I just don't. Me, per, like honestly, bro, I really don't feel like it's fair, bro. Like for me to just do that, just to give people shit after all the shit I've been through, it's not fair to me. Like at least show me that you did something. Like for instance. If a nigga was like wanted to learn a tattoo game from me type shit, if I see you been working like really trying to do tats and you've been practicing drawing and all that shit, bro, come on, I'm gonna show you what you should be doing, what you should buy, what machines you should get. You feel me? How you should have your voltage and what needles you should use. But if a nigga just automatically just come, fine, teach me. Hell, fucking no, nah, nigga. Yeah, Hell no. Nah. Put a little. You got to put a little bit of work in. Put some of that work in. Let me yeah, show, show me girl. some effort that you're doing because Something. you can't just hop out the porch and just expect me to just have to give it to you like that, man. Because yeah, otherwise, man, you want to pre- you want to you want to appreciate. You want to appreciate. At all, bro. You want to appreciate, all, bro. You want to appreciate like, it because you, bro, my nigga, cause he see me motherfucking taking shoes apart. Like I'm ordering shoes, fucking slicing them bitches apart, all type of shit, fucking. All type of shit, cause he see me doing it, bro, for a long time. Like he see me taking L's and all this other shit, but he see me put that work in. You feel me? Yeah. So I feel like that's why he really fucked with it. Like, okay, this nigga really like trying to do this. Like, let me help him out a little bit. And I feel you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause especially mess with them vendors, cause I try to mess with the vendors and they don't come back right. And you just like, man, it's a bro. buzz, like, bro. It'd be you, cause you be so hyped. You like, man, I got everything right. I put my bread up, and you send it off, and you gotta wait six weeks for it to come back. And they come back in an old beat up box, and then you open up the box and you look at it, and you be like, bro, this is not what I even like. You know, the, I, I know the pain. You like, bro, this is not what Holy I ordered, bro. Good. You like, this is not what I ordered, man. You like, bro, I done wasted all this money, especially. It was like, that's a L. Like, that's, that's a even big now, boy bro. L. My clothing, bro, even though my niggas, he's a reliable vendor, but sometimes he fuck up. I mean, it's just what it is. Like, it happens. a lot of times when you get your samples, bro, it's not going to be 100% how you want it. So, once you get that sample, you see what adjustments you need to make. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, that's just that's just a part of it. Like, even like you could, what? I'll give you the plug to the vendor for sure for my clothes. It's good. <laughs> Nitty my nigga, man. It's good. Straight up. Certain niggas, yeah. bro, I get it. I get you for me. I give it to, but. Other niggas just be trying to own some use me shit. You're not about to use yeah. me like I'm a hoe or some fuck, bro. So what Hell you got no. coming for the what you got coming for the ladies? What kind of gear you got coming for the ladies? You got some summer stuff for the ladies, or you got the tees, you got the bras, the panties. I know Honestly, you got some bro, cooking up. 
I feel like I, I just literally try to make everything like unisex, bro. So okay, because niggas don't understand how much this shit costs, bro. Yeah, like for instance, yep. the shoes, bro. If so, all my shit is whole sizes: seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You feel me? If mm-hmm. I do half sizes, nigga, just to open the mold up, it's fifteen hundred, bro. Ooh, ouch! And I open up a few molds for these motherfucking shoes, cause like I, I'm when I say. People don't understand, bro. When I, I spent a bag on this fucking brand, bro, like this shit is not just a, 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 like a cash grab type shit. Like this is something that I really love to do. And I didn't took L's multiple times, bro, and shit. I didn't order shit that, that really just, you feel me? Some shit, like even the clothing shit. I ordered clothes, bro, that didn't come how I wanted it to. And I just gave the shit away for free. Like took an L, you feel yeah. me? Like fuck it. Yeah. But it's just like, bro, I'm, I can't put out shit that I wouldn't wear. You feel me? Yeah. Hell sure. no. Or, or make for people sure. buy that. Nah, get that shit away. Are there any? Um, are there any people in the industry, in the fast industry, that you kind of like been looking up to and kind of been peeping their stuff and like, okay, that's some good stuff and kind of drawing some inspiration <laughs> from? It's a lot for sure. I ain't gonna bullshit you. It's a whole lot. Like even my shoes, bro. It's I took like three, four different shoes and made that shoe. Like three, okay. four different like. Like literally, like some Jordans, fucking Pradas, fucking uh, some Nikes, some Yeezys, like and and really made one shoe out of all of these shoes, bro. Just took different shit, added my own little twist to it, made one shoe. Man, that's what's up, bro. Cause I know, man. Like I said, I have seen them. Like, how do you decide on the colorway? Like, what, what's your what's your game plan to decide? Okay, I'm gonna do a black shoe here. I'm gonna do a blue shoe. I'm gonna do a red shoe. Like, what's your what's your thought process when you coming up with your colorway? Honestly, with that, bro, it's this dude named Chad, bro. I don't, I can't remember his Instagram, whatever. It's this dude named Chad, though, who who be doing little mock-ups or whatever, like, doing the colorways on my shoes. Like, I pay him to do that, you feel me? Like, I pay people to do certain shit that I can't do or don't even got time to do. But I pay him to, to do different colorways for me on my shit. And however he put together, it's either I'm going to like it or I'm not. And you feel me? If I like it, you feel me? I post it or whatever. Show the people if they like you for much try to put it out, but I, I have him do the the shit. I tell him the colors I want for the most part, and he be he be he be have my shit looking fire, bro. Like he be have my shit clean as fuck. So for do sure. you do like so? Are you mostly doing like pre orders and seeing which one going going crazy, and then you go kind of like go put the order in, or are you kind of like stocking everything up, letting it saying how hey, this is my release date. And then going for going that way. How you how you doing? Like, what's your method? What's your process? What's your method with that? That's a game I could give people. Pre-order the fuck out of whatever you selling. <laughs> because nigga, what nigga? If I would have knew then what I know now, bro, ah, cause a lot I would have saved a lot of fucking money, bro. I'm talking about a fucking lot of money, bro. Thousands of dollars I would have saved, bro. Like pre-order for sure, but goddamn pre-order. For sure. Hey, I know, cause you know you see you see a lot you see a lot of people they be in the rooms with the bags all over the place they they laying up like I got the orders in but then like six months to a year later they they still got all that merch because you know nobody probably liked that one particular colorway or that shirt they probably like the other one better and you sell out of that one so now you got all that material in your crib and that's what I was kind of trying to do I was like man let me just switch over to print on demand and kind of so I don't have cause I I was you know I was staying in a, a spot where we I ain't have a lot of space you know in the bay you don't get all that space you know what I'm saying so you ain't right. got no room to just go a whole luxury you don't have a luxury to hold or just go get thousand t-shirts and just kind of stack them up type deal so right, you know right. what I mean just kind of switch it up so I I kind of see and um see the, the the power in pre-order now you know what I mean just pre-order yeah. so you know which so you know what how much you need to be going and, and exactly. buying instead of trying to buy exactly. all of it and guessing at it because I think that's a lot of time we try to guess it what people gonna like and then you know, right. just don't know what people gonna like yeah again like I said earlier bro like it's shit that I thought was fucking fire bro like that didn't sell out like I thought it was. Like it sold a lot, but it, it didn't sell out like I thought it was. That's just a part of the game, though. Like it's everything is a hit and a miss, bro. Like mm. that's just what it is. Like it's like you gonna you might take an L on some on something else. You might motherfucking kill. Like you just never know, bro. Them learning lessons, man. Every that's L you all take it is. Just a learning, is a learning. I lesson. would say don't order, don't overly order shit. Like don't overly make shit. Like assume. I feel like you, you got to assume that you're not going to sell out. Mm. That's how I feel like like you got to think fake way. Like, you, you don't make over 
20, 30 items, you feel me? I feel like 20, 30 max. Don't do nothing over that because you're going to be sitting on it probably. Yeah. I know that's the thing about the clothing, man. You kind of like, you just don't know what's going to pop until it pops. Bro, you know? you it could be the one know, that you, it probably be the one that you, it probably be the one that you, it's not your favorite. That would be the one that pops. You'd be like, bro, like this one, I put more time into this one. Why this one ain't go? You know what I'm saying? And the simple one bro. just kind of like take off. You know what I mean? So I, I totally get, you know, this it's tricky. So what's your favorite?